Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, we will be discussing our future. The, Earth's future. Or, more precisely, how all this will come to an end for us. But we will not be going in blind and telling you what we think. We will be discussing, how, Stephen Hawking predicted the mankind will end. Stephen Hawking was well known for his work on black holes and the theory of relativity. But, the famous physicist, who passed away at the age of 76, also had some predictions about the future, ranging from topics such as aliens to the end of the world. Here are some of his most famous predictions. The Earth will turn into a ball of fire. Hawking theorized that humans would turn the planet into a giant ball of fire by 2600, due to overcrowding and energy consumption, which will make Earth uninhabitable. As a result, humans will need to go to live on another planet. Hawking said humans will need to colonize another planet within 100 years or face extinction. Well this is scary because we have been told that the only planet in the solar system that could sustain life is Earth. But, don't worry. Elon Musk, who shares the same thoughts said that Mars could be our next planet. But, human survival on Mars would require living in artificial Mars habitats with complex life support systems. And that's difficult. But, don't lose hope yet, because scientists have been looking for our next home from a very long time, and, there may be planet that is as good as our Earth. Welcome to Proxima b, the closest planet to our solar system that is suspected to have an atmosphere and water, but the only catch is that it is 4.2 light years away from Earth, and with the fastest spaceships we have, NASA says that it will take almost 73,000 years for us to reach there. Stephen Hawking says that this may be our biggest hurdles, but, he also says that I have no doubt that we will find it to reach there much faster in near future. I have no doubt that we will eventually find ways of crossing the immense distances of space in just a few years. Warnings on AI. Hawking said, the emergence of artificial intelligence could be the worst event in the history of our civilization, unless, society finds a way to control its development. The physicist did say that the technology could help eradicate poverty and disease, but admitted its future is uncertain. Unless we learn how to prepare for, and avoid, the potential risks, AI could be the worst event in the history of our civilization. It brings dangers, like powerful autonomous weapons, or new ways for the few to oppress the many. It could bring great disruption to our economy. But machine learning and artificial intelligence are just tools. They can be used in the right or wrong way, like every other tools and machine in the world. We should be concerned about how we will use, not about their intellect, power, and capability. Because until today, we are struggling with Alexa commands, because half of the time, it does not make the right action according to our instructions. Global warming could reach a tipping point. Hawking warned that global warming could reach a point where it can't be reversed. We are close to the tipping point where global warming becomes irreversible. We humans could push the Earth over the brink to become like Venus. With a temperature of 250 degrees and raining sulfuric acid. What causes global warming you may ask? Well, global warming occurs when carbon dioxide and other air pollutants and greenhouse gases collect in the atmosphere and absorb sunlight and solar radiation that have bounced off the Earth's surface. Normally, this radiation would escape into space but these pollutants, which can last for years to centuries in the atmosphere, trap the heat and cause the planet to get hotter. That's what's known as the greenhouse effect. Melting glaciers, early snowmelt, rising sea levels, new pests, heat waves, heavy downpours, and increased flooding are some of the effects that it will cause if it continues for a longer period of time. But, if seen clearly this can be controlled by us. This is the only end that we could prevent on an individual level. There may be aliens out there. Given that Hawking spent most of his life looking at space, it's not surprising that he has pondered whether there are other life forms out there. In 2015, Hawking joined Russian billionaire Yuri Milner to launch a project aimed at using high-powered computers to listen for aliens. The project, known as Breakthrough Initiatives, supports CETI, a scientific experiment based at the University of California. It uses computers to scan the skies to look for life. He said that there is definitely extraterrestrial life out there, and with much advanced technologies than us, and will eventually will be invading to conquer and colonize whatever life there is. And what is the limit who knows? But, if it's true, escaping to a different planet would not be the rescue here. 
Hawking's views aren't shared in full by his scientific peers, many of whom emphasize the sheer difficulty of interstellar space travel and the fact that human radio transmissions have long leaked from Earth, sending a beacon to anyone out there. Any society with the capability to threaten Earth is overwhelmingly likely to already have the kit required to pick up the leakage, we've been wafting skyward for seven decades," said a senior astronomer at the SETI Institute. And since we've been busy for a lifetime, filling the seas of space with bottled messages marking our existence and position, it's a bit silly to fret about new bottles. Well, that's fair. Scientists have been sending out signals from a very long time, and any life that is wishing to conquer planets or just coming in peace would have been here by now. But, let's not just ignore the fact that it's not possible. But if it is, are we ready for it? Or do we need the Avengers? So, what do you think? Which one of these would be the one? Will it be overcrowding and global warming, or will it be the future robots that we are creating now, or will it be Thanos coming to snap his fingers and wiping us all? Comment down your thought and let us know what will it be according to you that will end mankind, and if it does, will we be able to escape? Also, tell us, apart from these what do you think is bringing our extinction? Till then, stay safe and be looking out in the skies for anything coming.